Well, big changes are coming to York Hospital. Leaders at Wellspan Health say the improvements are all aimed at helping patients. CBS 21's Christina Butler live in York with more on the $50 million project. Christina. Uh, Rob and Tanya, this is a pretty massive project we're talking about. Construction is scheduled to begin this summer and then wrap up in about three years, putting it at the middle point of 2017. While all these renovations are ongoing, patients will still be accepted here at this emergency room. Overhauling an entire emergency department is no small task. It's a 46,000 square foot renovation with the goal of providing private patient-centered care. The greatest issue from my standpoint above any other is the hallway beds. Keith Knoll is the president of Wellspan Health York Hospital, where currently, when the ER fills up, patients are seen in hallways on stretchers. The original emergency department was built to treat 35,000 per year, but with the aging and increasing population, they're seeing 78,000. The new ER will reduce wait times. Our goal, believe it or not, is a no waiting emergency department. And we hope that about 85% of the time, we will achieve that goal. Separate areas of the center will focus on specific needs, trauma, pediatric, cardiac, or behavioral health. A quick sort nurse station will address lower emergency situations. The project will cost $50 million. Noel says that's all budgeted. As far as patient expense, that could go down. If we're able to take care of patients who only need to be in emergency department, rather than taking care of patients that are coming here, maybe unnecessarily, that will definitely reduce the cost of care. Construction begins next summer, but already patients, doctors, and nurses are doing run-throughs in a full-scale cardboard model of the new ER in a local warehouse. Noel says from trials, they've gotten 14,000 suggestions for improvement. And they are finding ways to incorporate all of those suggestions and improve their model. Again, this is scheduled to be open to the public in 2017. And also the last time they did any type of renovations here was 20 years ago in the emergency department. Live in York County, Christina Butler, CBS 21 News.